<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 129. We got a special guest in the building, man. We got rapper Measy. But not only do he rap, dog, I went back and seen that he a football player. Man. Motherfucker Hooper and shit <laughs> at, uh, at, what, Dryden High School? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was one thing I was going to have you come on the show, dog, because you a Michigan State fan. Uh-huh. So I'm like, dog, hell no. Nah. Michigan- oh, you a Michigan fan? <laughs> hell yeah. Man, I don't know why. I guess, hey, he broke the curse, dog, what I said. Remember what I said? I said that. <laughs> I had this logic, dog, that... <laughs> I said that <laughs> all white people that was Michigan State fans was racist, dog. Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> but the ones no. who like Michigan is cool, but hey, uh, yeah, 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 that ain't true. <laughs> yeah, no, that ain't me. That ain't me. What's good with you, though? Everything smooth? Yeah, I'm good, good. Happy to be here. That's what's up, last man. Night. Had a good night last night. Good morning today. Yeah, I see, yeah. man. When I looked on your story, I'm like, yeah, he might not make it. No, no, like, we was going to make it. We yeah, was going to make it. But you it. young, though. I'm old as hell, so <laughs> shit. Night like that, nigga, I need two days to recover and shit, yeah, dog. Yeah, no, I was up by about 10.30. For sure. a bit. Now, we yeah. start everything with a salute, man. Salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for niggas to die and shit to be like, you know what I'm saying? Give mm-hmm. them their flowers, say he or she cool and shit. But it can't be the normal. It can't be no no family. I mean, no uh, mom, no dad, mm-hmm. no lady, no kids. It got to be somebody out there, you know what I'm saying, that normal, uh, that normal range. So. Uh, man, I probably had to salute my man, Packy, from Lansing. Mm-hmm. He, uh, I started out as a, as a fan of his music, and then I was able to build a, a friendship with him, and he just... Put me onto a lot of games, showed me a lot of stuff, taught me a lot of stuff, helped me out setting up my first studio and everything. So that's probably who I had to give it to. For sure, for sure. What's his name again? Packy. Packy. Yeah, he he a uh, uh, rapper too. He real nice. That's what's up. That's what's up, yeah. man. We one 129 episodes. I ain't got nobody to salute, man. <laughs> y'all doing so much y'all life, I ain't salute to y'all, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't salute Craig, Felicia, everybody. I'm tired of salute motherfuckers, man. But uh. Tell me how your year been, dog. 2022, man. It's been, you know what I'm saying? You just dropped the project. Uh-huh. Uh, so I know you got a little one on the way and shit, man. Mm-hmm. Did a lot yeah. of research and shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dog? Tell me, tell me what's been going on with you, dog. Man, the, the year started out kind of shaky, but, yeah. you know, it, it got good. I got moved into it. Me and Jay got our, our new spot. That's got set up. We got the, the studio going, so it's been good. Project mm. came out finally yeah. later than I wanted to, but... Better late than never, so that's out yeah. out everywhere now. That's good, so sure. it's been good. Yeah, hey, any downs, dog, or anything be on the up and up? Like, Man, it started out shaking. with it started out with mad downs, a yeah. lot of downs. But yeah. once we got right around March, it started looking back up. So for sure, yeah. Now, dog, you about to be a father, man. I'm a uh-huh. vet, this motherfucker, dog. Uh-huh. I got my little my little homie about to be 16 in December. Uh-huh. I got that them six year old. And uh and a one year old that shit some crazy ass ages mm. but so how how you feel about that dog you ready to be a pops like man I'm excited I can't wait yeah. I can't wait it's some it's something I've I've always I've always wanted to do and and now that it's actually happening it's just like yeah. surreal I, I don't think I still really wrap my my head around it no, yet you ain't. but tell him uh, come out you yeah, like oh shit like yeah, it's real yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shit, see I was twenty when I nineteen when I had my first one uh-huh. so when he came out I'm like dog put that motherfucker back in <laughs> <laughs> like, I wasn't ready for that shit dog because as soon as they come out dog you broke forever dog. No. I don't give a fuck how, how much money you got, dog. Man. It's, what, y'all know what y'all having? No, not yet. We're going to do a, a, a reveal. So even when we find out like from the doctors, it's going to be in the envelope. Yeah, so we yeah. won't know until like, October. But, yeah. You wish for a boy? Man, you know what I mean. Hey, it's going to be a junior? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No, no, but that's not, dog. That's not, it's, it's scary, dog, but you get, y'all get through that shit, yeah. dog. You know what I'm saying? As long as y'all yeah. together and shit, dog, but... You know, it, everything would be smooth, bro. It, that shit gonna be scary. Then once they come out, you can be like, damn, yeah. like I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to do anything with that no more. That <laughs> <laughs> gonna come out, man, uh, big ass head, shit, like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be dog? That's like, you. You would think it'd never get back right. I, uh-huh. I'm like, dog, I, I, shit, it's rough for me. Yeah, man, I can't compete with that head coming out that yeah. motherfucker, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hell man, yeah, dog. It's gonna snap back. I'll be straight for sure. For I'll sure, man. You straight. got any advice from some people around you? Like anybody been t- giving you some game? Uh, I mean, yeah. All basically, all my friends is, is pops. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm like damn near the last one, so yeah, yeah. I got all the game you could imagine already. Damn Hell yeah, man. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a damn fan. I'm old, dog. Yeah. Oh, everybody just bitch be young. Damn, my son almost your age. <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that is crazy. Hey, how old are you? Uh, I'm 23. I'll be 24 in November. Okay, yeah, yeah. What's up? Yeah, he got well, it ain't that, eight years, eight years. Yeah. Dog, so what's some, uh, what's some shit, dog, this year you liked about yourself, bro, that you like damn, like? Man, uh, for real, that I learned about myself. Yeah, I know it's like yeah, some, some some deep shit. You know yeah, what I'm <laughs> um, I think I learned that I could really make it through anything for real. Yeah. Like, I done been in some crazy situations that I didn't. When I was in them, I'm like, damn, I don't know how this is gonna for sure shake back. But you can really, I feel like I can get through anything. Hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Do you be going to the new year like, dog? I got goals. I'm gonna do this, or you be like, man, fuck, I'm gonna go with the flow. It'd be half and half. This year, this year I had set some goals, and really the main goal was just the project to get the project out. Cause I've been, I've been trying to make projects for I don't know how long, but I feel like I'm a I'm a real hard self critic. So yeah. I make some shit and be like, this ain't it. This ain't what I want to yeah, be my yeah, first yeah. project. So the main goal for this year was getting the the project out. Uh, mm-hmm. But usually every year I just be like, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah hell and yeah. As long as it's progression from last year, then I'm good. No, for sure. Hey, last thing I want to ask you about the, uh, be- go back on the baby thing real mm-hmm. quick though. When you first found out, did you believe it or like, like you were yeah, like- I, I, I definitely believed it because yeah. I definitely knew it. Was, oh, you was okay. Yeah, I definitely knew what was going on. So I, I believed it. It was yeah. just like, uh, like no matter how much you, you, you think you know that, yeah. Once she actually tells you, yeah. it's like, damn, Man. it's real. Yeah, that first time, I, I got new because I wasn't getting consistent, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't uh-huh. getting that consistent, uh, you know what I'm saying, cool. They <laughs> 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 got consistent, like, I didn't know how to handle it. Like, oh, shit, I got baby. Uh-huh. My, my last one, I didn't believe her. Like, yeah, no, I pulled out. I was, you know what I'm saying? I know I pulled out. <laughs> I guess I didn't. <laughs> it was no time and shit, dog. Yeah, now, uh, oh, I know you with your homies, you know what I'm saying? You got uh-huh. your lady, man, but let me know, man. When the last time you cried, bro? Last time give I cried. Good, give me a good cry story though, like some shit that made you break down. Man, last time I cried, probably uh, I had found out that my mom was kind of sick. Oh, and we man. we didn't really know what was wrong. Yeah. Um, this was just kind of recent. Yeah. And l- losing my mom is probably my biggest fear. Oh, like yeah. through anything, I, that's just a moment I don't think I'll ever be prepared for. But oh, yeah. hell yeah. So shit. that was probably the last time I cried. That's probably. Couple months ago. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit, I ain't know if I knew that when I asked that question. Though. No, <laughs> no, no. It's no, great. No. She, she, she doing, she doing better, and they starting to try and figure out what's going on. So yeah. she, she good. She For sure. Good. Yeah. Now uh, you got your people back here, man. Tell mm-hmm. me, like, you know, what I'm saying y'all all on the same label and stuff, man. But you know, a lot of times when people get into this music shit, dog, with people, shit change once that motherfucking money coming to the play. Mm-hmm. People break up. People, you know, what I'm saying go their separate ways, arguments and stuff. Because I guess they ain't had those conversations prior. Mm-hmm. So what's some shit that you know, what I'm saying your end that you would do to make sure that y'all always gonna be clicked up, always gonna be, you know, what I'm saying. Man, I think the the good thing about us is that we really friends outside of the music for mm-hmm. real, and then it just worked out that we all did music. We was able to do it together, and you know, we still have our arguments and our ups and downs and stuff, but we we work through them right now so that we can work through everything now so that when that shit really do come in yeah. and even if we have some disagreements then we know that we still gonna be locked in because we for already sure. been through it before for sure. what's the uh what's the name of the label fast life okay okay yeah, fast so life dynasty what went wrong when you uh was with zoom entertainment man that was just uh that was that was me and jay too okay. uh, i had came out to lansing in 2017 uh, and I had met Jay, mm. and he was really at the time the only like active member. One of the members had moved out of the country, the other member moved out to Cali. He, they were all kind of doing their own thing, um, and then, so I had came in and Jay peeped what I was doing, and he was just like, you know, we got this thing going on. Yeah. He, he was kind of trying to bring it back, and so he brought me in, and we was me and me and Jay was doing stuff, but it was just hard with two of the other people living. One person was halfway across the world yeah. in Africa doing stuff. Cali, that's halfway across the country. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The other person wasn't really doing music no more, so yeah. it, it was just me and Jay. It was a little bit hard to carry that whole group for sure. vibe when it's just two people. Okay, so. yeah, yeah. I, I, I looked at uh, See, that was like, what, 2018 when you did that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be on my shit, bro. Yeah, I'm you sure. do. That's crazy. As <laughs> soon as you said dry in high school, I was like, dog, he know everything. <laughs> He know everything. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Shit. Speaking of uh, a high school dog, talk about growing up, bro. Like, who was in the crib? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where you from? All that good stuff, man. Uh, So, my uh, growing up, I lived in Romeo until I was about eight. Mm-hmm. We lived in this crazy trailer park. Like, mm-hmm. crazy trailer park. See some crazy stuff. But yeah. um, <laughs> for, for a while, it was just my mom and me and my two older siblings. And mm-hmm. then I got a little brother named Tyler. Okay. Um, for a little while... His dad was in the crib because him and my mom was dating, for and sure. then they had split up. So my mom was single for a while. Yeah. 
my pops had left when my mom was pregnant with me. Yeah. Um, I used to go and see him every once in a while, but I didn't really see him since I was like six or seven. For sure. And then my mom got remarried when I was probably seven or eight or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then she, my step pops moved us out to Dryden, mm. middle of nowhere. Yeah, I, about, I never heard that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got there like, dang, bro, it's a lot of trees around here. <laughs> like, what? For sure, I'm like, what? I'm like, is this high school in Michigan? Like, yeah, no, it, it was, it, it, it was cool. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's different growing up in a small town because it's like nothing to do. Yeah, like, everybody know everybody. Yeah, everybody know everybody business. It's, yeah. and all the families are like clicked up. It's like a weird like hierarchy of like families. It's, it's some stuff I can't even explain. But. Yeah, for sure. Again, okay, now you say yo, uh, so. You said you ain't seen your pops since you was a little one. Uh-huh. Yeah, do I do I ever like mess with you, dog? Like by now, you, now you know you got a little yeah. one. Like, it's gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna go harder because I, yeah. you know, I had I my pops growing up. Growing up, it like it it did affect me, but at the same time, I had a stepdad. We never really had like a a tight relationship like that growing up. But now that I'm moved out and like a grown like a grown man, me yeah. and him have gotten a lot um, tighter. Yeah. Yeah. I think at this point, I've just accepted it. Yeah. He actually, my 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 real dad tried to uh, reach out a mm-hmm. little while ago. And was talking about meeting up for dinner or whatever, and then I didn't hear nothing back, so yeah. I ain't never do it. But yeah. it's just whatever at this point. Hell yeah, so. you heard the album. Like, hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what up, though? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Now, uh, was you one of them little ones, dog? You got a step pop. you like, dog, you can't tell me what to do. Don't say shit to me. Man, it was one time. <laughs> it was one time I tried that, and I never tried it again. Cause dog. He... He, I, I really didn't have no room to say that to him for real, cause he was there ever since I was little, helping take care of me and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. I remember it was one time my mom was at work, I was at home <laughs> alone with him and my older brother, and they was just pissing me off. Just like I felt like they was ganging up on me, trying to make me mad, and yeah. they had turned off the Wi-Fi yeah. at the time. <laughs> No, they turned off the Wi-Fi at the time. I, I I had this iPod, and that was how I talked to all my friends was texting off the iPod. Yeah. They cut the Wi-Fi off. I got so mad. I went yeah. up there. I got the arguing with them. I don't remember what I did to get the Wi-Fi turned off, but I was on my way back down the steps to go into the basement to my room, and my stepdad had said something, and I just yelled from the bottom of the steps, you're not my dad. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classy Man, he line. came running down them steps so fast, bro. I heard... <laughs> He grabbed me, threw me up against the wall. Like yeah. I was like, "All right, bro, you got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it, dog. Yeah, yeah, you, you got, got it, big homie." Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. I never thought. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I never got into it. My uh, my mom, my mom was in two relationships after my pops. Mm-hmm. Hey, I never got into it with them, dog. They was kind of cool though. They never yeah. like you know say plus I. I, I just go with the flow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My dad, now, that's a different story. He didn't yeah. beat my ass for everything. <laughs> nigga, lose his job. I'm going to beat your ass, huh? <laughs> nigga, got, nigga, I fucked that paycheck, beat my ass, dog. Damn, I need some therapy, dog, in this bitch. Man. Hell yeah. Nah, dog, like I said, you was hooping, playing football, bro. Mm-hmm. Did you have, like, them, them dreams of, of taking that shit to the next level? Man, to be honest, no. Nah. Because I knew, I like, I was straight, yeah. but I, I knew that I wasn't like that to be able to go to college like i probably could have went to like a small college yeah. but nothing crazy so yeah. what was you uh better in football or basketball mm, i'll say definitely basketball yeah definitely basketball yeah yeah what, what was your game like dog you you know you had the handles jump shot who was you dog? no i didn't have no handles in high school i got <laughs> i got better handles now i still don't have handles like that but yeah. i was i was the taller like the one of the tallest kids on the team so i was yeah. on the block a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. posting up Hell doing yeah. stuff like that <laughs> Hey, yeah, man, then I had hoop dreams, too, though. I had all type of dreams. Uh-huh. None, of my shit had, none of my shit worked, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I thought I was going to be tall, nigga. You see, I'm short still, man. That shit fucked up. Yeah. So give me a, uh, give me an album or a song that every time you hear that shit, dog, take you back to a time, like, clear as day. Man, probably Carter Four by Lil Wayne. Yeah. That's just the first thing that comes to my head. I remember when that came out, I was in, like, I don't know, maybe seventh grade. And that was I had just Seven got my grade, I had just got my own iPod. Yeah. And so that was the first song, the first album I downloaded. I used to bang that junk yeah. at school every day. You still rock with Wayne? Yeah, that's my that's my goat. That's yeah. my goat. So that's your first favorite rapper then? Yeah, yeah. Duh. Me too. But that was like when he was like shit. He was like fourteen back when I first started yeah, listening to Wayne with the Hot Boys. Yeah, yeah. dog. With the uh, what he had? What's that uh, album he had? Dog, Block is Hot. Yeah, uh, Five Hundred Degrees. Yeah, Five Hundred Degrees. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. After Juvie had uh-huh. left the motherfuckers. Dog. Yeah. yeah, dog. Wayne was cold, bro. I don't know, man. Wayne he. He's still cold, but I just miss that old Wayne. Yeah, I'd be, I be saying the same thing. Like, it used to be Wayne would put something out, and I would never have nothing bad to say about it. But yeah, nah. some of the newer stuff he put out, I'd be like, man, yeah. I don't know who's on his team, but I don't know why they told him to put this out, because <laughs> this is not it. I don't know who's on his team and tell him not to cut them damn dreads off. That's, Bro, man, that's the other go. thing. His, I feel like he used to be, like, 
the like the top tier yeah. for the dreads and, and <laughs> yeah, for sure. like he really like made that shit look cool and now no, i he, see him and he look like he like half yeah, dead he going through some shit yeah he, he going through some shit dog. cut that shit through, away dog. Yeah. cut that shit up, like he needs to go see somebody and get <laughs> yeah, yeah. Together. well some what's something you wanted to be growing up that you never told no one like for, for example i wanted to tap dance as a little homie dog. Uh -huh. i was like six tapping in some church shoes I want to be a karate kid and shit back in the day. Like, man. what's some shit you wanted to be as a little homie that you never like took for real when you got older? Probably, probably the sports stuff. Like when I was young, I, I football and basketball was like, if I could be a professional sports player, yeah, I'm good. That's all I need. And yeah. then as I just got older, I was like, man, I don't even, I don't even like this stuff that yeah, much. Yeah, so. hell yeah, yeah. We are everybody. I think everybody have a little bit of who drinks in yeah, their yeah, motherfucking for life, sure. dog. For sure. Ain't, ain't no funny shit you wanted to be like on some weird shit. Man, not not that I can think of. I I mean, I remember like being in school. Oh no, I I wanted to be an astronaut. Yeah. I wanted to be an astronaut <laughs> real bad when I was in fourth grade. Once we started learning about all the planets, I was like, this shit is sweet. I'm trying to go out there. <laughs> but yeah, that that died down pretty quick though. No, then you think about that shit. That's just scary as fuck, bro. Like the whole little act, man. That's just me and my wife were talking about that shit though. Like bro, the galaxies and all that it's shit. It's crazy, though. and we don't even know what's out there. It's just like a never. I don't understand that stuff man. still. Like it's just never ending. Black space right with here, stars and planets. No, hell yeah, it's, it's, crazy. it's for showing sure their life in that motherfucker. Yeah, so yeah. we, I guess we find out one of these days. Yeah, gotta be. <laughs> gotta be. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, uh, with you with this music shit, dog, is that, is that something you wanted to do like right after uh, high school when you got older? Like, at what point you wanted to tap into the whole rap? Yeah, shit? um, so I really like as soon as I got hip to rap music, I instantly was trying to write my own stuff. Mm -hmm. I never like told nobody about it because i was always worried about what other people would think and stuff and so it was really always just me rapping to myself and writing my own lyrics in my room and mm -hmm. then uh i think my junior year of high school i was sitting there with one of my friends and he had liked to rap too and we were like let's just, let's just try it yeah and the, i mean worst case scenario we try it and it don't work but i'm one of those type of people where i'd rather say i tried something and it didn't work for sure, than be dude, like yeah, damn yeah. i wonder what would happen Hell if i yeah, tried it duh. we just telling my uh my homie who just left here dog like that motherfucker here, King, uh, saying he gonna do some shit, then just quit that bitch. Like, Damn, <laughs> dog, you didn't even start that shit, dog. We supposed, I remember we supposed to drop the little album together, dog. That nigga, he did a couple songs, that nigga just quit that shit. Like, yeah. man, dog, you need to do something and stick yeah. to that shit, dog. Yeah. Cause that nine five shit, of course, that's cool. But if you got some ambition, some dreams, some some shit, dog, yeah. you need to go ahead and just at least try that shit, like you said. Yeah. And no, it it do get hard though once you get into that job cycle, like. Yeah. It's hard to come home from work and want to push yourself to do some man, stuff facts. that you don't really got to do, but. Even if you want to do it, you might not feel like doing it because you was at work all day. Man, for it, sure. It definitely is hard to to kind of break that nine to five cycle, but yeah, yeah. if you really want something, you just got to do it. So your uh, your name Easy man, like mm -hmm. it wasn't always there. It was uh, uh -huh. Michael Kurtz, right? Yeah, I, I I used to go by my actual name. Yeah. Uh, what, what made you change it up? And did you have any uh, trash names before that? No, that see <laughs> the, that's the thing is when I was trying to come up with a name, I'm like, bro, I don't want to just give myself a name. Like that's corny. Like I yeah. if if I have a stage name, I want to be like a nickname that people gave me or something. So For sure. my man's PJ. Uh, when I started hanging out with him, it's probably like 2019. Mm -hmm. Once he started hanging out with me, he's like, man. You ain't just no regular white boy, bro. I'm a, he's like, I'm going to call you Meezy. Yeah. And then he started calling me that, and then it just stuck. Everybody started calling me that. So yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, let me just go ahead and switch this over. No, Michael, Michael Curse is kind of straight, too, though. But yeah, I see yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was. I, I always liked it because cause it was me. It was yeah, genuine. Sure. It wasn't yeah, nothing no I made lie, up. Yeah. 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 So you had shit before that? Like, mm -hmm. none, yeah, man. See, I, yeah, you, I'm glad you didn't go through those little and young days, though. Yeah, that, and that's, that's what I didn't want to be. That's why I was like, <laughs> let me just use my government name. Yeah. And, can't no one talk crap about my government name? No, my, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's your name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now outside of Wayne, though, who were some uh, like some musical influences you had, man? Like growing up and shit, that uh, kind of like molded your sound a little bit. Um, definitely Fifty Cent. Yeah. Uh, Eminem and Fifty Cent were were big ones with Wayne. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when Drake came out, yeah, Drake was like. Drake, Drake still is yeah. like everything for me as the golden standard of an artist, but I would say probably uh probably Wayne, mm. Fifty Cent, Eminem, Jay Z. Jay Z was one. I was kind of late getting on Jay Z, sure. but he was definitely one. I'd say that's probably it for real. Now, me and my brother has arguing all the time about Drake, dog. I say Drake don't have one, not, don't have not one classic album. What? Not one. <laughs> no, one classic album. Not, not to me. If I if I want to go, his best album to me was a, was a mistake. The, uh, the the one when he first got with Young Money. What what's the fucking name of that shit? So far gone. Yeah, but album was his. But he probably his best album was the one when he was the baby with the sky in the background. The I, uh, that's how fucked up it is. I don't even know his album name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah nothing yeah. was the same. Yeah. yeah, like do y'all y'all think Drake had a classic album? Of course. 
was. I oh, feel like shit, damn near every Drake is a classic album yeah. almost. For real? Like, Bro, what's a, what's a, give me a, Drake, a classic Drake take album. Take Care is just automatic. Okay, that's the one we get at the table and shit. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So Take Care. Straight album. But honestly, Views, bro. Yeah. Views is like a, a late Drake album that's yeah. honestly a classic. Like, yeah. And then, honestly, to me, I feel like his best album, everyone always tries to fight me over this, yeah. but Scorpion, yeah. that 2018 album, yeah. it's like 32 songs, bro, and not one of them is a skip. Bro, I gotta go back and listen to it, dog. Cause me, and my, I mean, my brother, like, nigga, you stupid. Like, yeah, that's <laughs> that, that's crazy that you don't think Drake not go, bro, don't got no classic album. He, he he not he not trash and like that. I just like it, it. Never been an album, bro. That I just had to go back and like just listen. Like yeah. I listened like the first couple weeks that it's out, that it's out. But after that, it's like I don't go back. Yeah, like how I will go back to like a Cole or a Kendrick or even like um uh, uh um um. Big Crit, but Big mm-hmm. Crit, his, his newer album's been kind of like ain't, ain't been hitting. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'll never go back to his albums. Like, see, I guess that could be like a, a generational thing too, because yeah. Drake really came out for real when I was growing up. So I yeah. feel like I kind of grew up with Drake. Yeah. So. No, for sure. No, when he first came out, though, I'm like, oh, this, this dude dope. Like, uh-huh. I remember my my brother, you know, little brother put me up on. I'm like, dog, you talking about the dude from the TV show? Uh-huh. Like, you know, what I'm saying yeah. he was on the grassy and shit, yeah. on the wheelchair, yeah, like Jimmy. Yeah, like he, 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 he was straight. Like I thought he was like the uh, the October's uh, Miss Tape and shit. Like mm-hmm. we had the little peacoat and John, like, yeah. But his albums ain't he ain't got no bad albums besides the first one. The first one was trash to me. Take care. The, no, very no. The first one the, the before oh, that. Um, I Damn, forgot. It's the one with um he hit, with yeah take yeah, me later yeah the one later. with uh, Eminem on there and John like that on that yeah, album. Yeah, yeah I didn't like that one at all but he just he has some yeah, he has some, some okay albums I'm gonna have to go back and listen to it though. yeah you got to you got to because like I said I listened to that first week and then I just shit man. and then if you're reading this it's too late oh yeah yeah that, that yeah. one I like that one I like that man. one that's that's the one when he, when uh, Meek was going down right right afterwards yeah, yeah yeah and I don't even know if that one counts as an album I think it was technically a mixtape but yeah. still Hell that's yeah, a classic yeah. too. Yeah, and now who the first person you told that you wanted to do the music shit? You said you kind of hit it and shit. Probably, uh, probably my friend Logan that I was going to high school with that, cause I found out he liked to rap too. I'm like, shit, bro, me too. Yeah. Like, uh, I say that was probably the first one, cause I didn't even tell none of my family or nothing. Mm-hmm. And then even out of my family, the first person I told was my mom. Yeah. I don't know what she was gonna say, but she was always super supportive. She always sure. rock with it, so it was cool. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now who, who the first person told you that you was dope? Like, all right, you 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 doing the music, but like you Man, straight for real. I feel like. As soon as I started doing it, people was telling me I was dope, but I didn't really believe them. Mm-hmm. I think the first time I really believed when someone told me I was dope probably was when I met I met Jay. Yeah. And he had, he had told me, and I was like, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I might be. Yeah. But yeah, up until then, I feel like people would always say stuff like that, like just like being nice or like, you know when like you feel bad for someone, yeah, so you yeah, just yeah, say yeah. some nice stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, that shit's straight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole time you're like, dog, don't play this shit again. I hate, you, yeah, I hate that shit, dog. Like, you, man, you know it's ass, bro. Don't say that shit yeah. cool, dog. Like, yeah. Man, that shit's straight, dog. It got potential. Like, <laughs> No, just tell me you don't like it, bro. Don't say it got potential. Just tell me you don't like it. Yeah, cause, so right. is that the same person you, you can go to him and tell you, like, to keep it real, like, when, all right, dog, this shit ain't hitting, or you should change this, or you should tweak that? Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, like, with the whole album, I ran every song by Jay as I was making it yeah. uh, and he'd tell me you know put this line here or put this here do this melody here or take this up or take this down so yeah. for sure hey i used to be see i'd be the type of person i just hate people tell me like this nigga, he a king of tell me some trash dog but uh-huh. he wanted to tell you it's trash like he kind of like hurt your feelings with it. Like, <laughs> like, like, like don't like, try to save you yeah. at all like dog stop this shit yeah. dog. stop this bullshit dog like he gonna but you need people in your circle that's gonna keep it real good mm-hmm. you gonna have people are just saying like yeah it's straight but not really listening to it for yeah real. then you got niggas that hating like really like you know what I'm saying? Tell you something bad by it, but won't tell you what it is or right. how you can fix it. Right. You know That's I mean? my thing. Like, if you don't like something, tell me what you don't like and why you don't like it. And then yeah. I can know how to change it. For sure. And Hell yeah. Now, first time in the studio, man, like, that shit different, man. Because mm-hmm. when I, me and my cousin doing music, we be rapping in the room. It sound good. Mm-hmm. As soon as you put those headphones in your ear, dog, you trying to, like, sometimes you can try to rap too much on beat. Mm-hmm. Sound like you reading. Like, how was that first time in the studio? Was it good, man? Man, the fir- my first time in the actual studio, it was terrible like yeah. i sounded horrible my delivery j- just like you were saying it was like i was just reading yeah. i had to learn how to kind of get comfortable and and my my rap voice i felt like when i first started i really was trying to have a rap voice yeah i had to learn that like if you just use your normal talking voice and mm-hmm. just flow mm-hmm. it sounds way better than trying to force some type of rap voice no oh, for sure for sure what's some shit you need you gotta have in studio man you gotta smoke weed drink De- i definitely need people. to smoke well yeah smoke while i'm recording i'm not that much of a drinker for real unless it's like a occasion like i drank last night because yeah. it's jay's birthday this weekend yeah. so drink last night but for real just some probably some some snacks something to, some like water and some yeah. weed Hell yeah, and yeah, then sure. i really don't even like having people in the studio when i record for real unless it's like 
a certain like if I'm just there having fun vibing but a lot of times when I'm in the studio it'd be like personal or like I really be trying to pen some stuff to make it make sense so yeah, I yeah. like working alone most of the time but yeah now you uh you put the project out yes I mean Friday mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so it just came out still fresh but you were saying like since 2019 you been be kind of like going back and forth deleting shit erasing shit scrapping mm-hmm. shit like what took so long for you to get, get comfortable be like, alright bet this is it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna put it out like what what took you so long to get comfortable with that shit my biggest thing I think was um I didn't want to just like put out like a normal mixtape just like a bunch of rap songs I wanted like a cohesive good put together project because I'm a big album guy like I know a lot of people nowadays don't really listen to albums all the way through yeah. but I like I like whole put together projects that are almost like a like a movie but like mm. an audio version so that's why like I put skits on this one yeah. and things like that and I felt like back then when I was putting stuff together it was nice but I I knew that when I had a project out finally, that was going to be the main thing I was pointing people to for a while, like, as I dropped singles and everything, so I really needed it to be, like, above my standard, and I'm already, yeah. like, an overachiever, so sure. I needed it to really impress me first before I ever thought it could impress you, anybody else. You did else. that make it, like, you being your own way, though? Like Oh, for sure. You know what I'm All saying? the time. For <laughs> sure. All the time. So what was different between the shit you were putting out then that didn't make the cut to, to now? Like, what was, what was different? I feel like i just grown a lot as an artist, like, my quality, um, the things I'd be thinking of mm. the things i'll be saying i feel like i've grown a lot i can make more like mature wise music yeah. of course like the turning up music is fun for sure but i like when i really say some shit that's some real life shit hell yeah so now uh was paranoia was that your first uh yeah that was yeah <laughs> <Duh. laughs> yeah that's yeah. your first video yeah yeah okay, so tell me back to that to that time dog you like i thought it was sweet that's what that was i thought it was sweet and you i thought wasn't you was gonna deal right, yeah. right away dog yeah <laughs> so yeah that was when i had first linked up with uh Jay and them and I had never done a video before. I didn't know what to do. I just went out there and vibed out and yeah. shit. But you yeah, know, that'd be funny because like that shit in the past, bro. Like even with this podcast shit, you look at those earlier episodes. Like all right, babe, I'm gonna make it. Off the, mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying as soon as I do, I'm making it. Uh-huh. So is that how, that's how it is the music? Because bro, like. We was in this bitch like we was going, we was running down on niggas on WJLB, uh-huh. giving them a little tapes and shit uh-huh. though. Like <laughs> shit was trash. I know they laughed at us yeah. like motherfucker. But like dog, yeah, back then like you just knew like all right, bet by this time you shit you blew you blew you blowing up. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Like I remember when we made that shit. I'm like dog, this shit's hard. Like we're out of here, we're good. But now I listen to it, I'm like bro, I don't know what I was thinking. Like dog, for sure. But I would never like, put hey, that that's out. Be, dog. That's how it be. Yeah, for real. Now dog, everything we do dog is competition, bro. And like sometimes. You you can be a low key hater like mm-hmm. everybody got a little hating them though mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying no for especially sure especially you see somebody do you ever like you do a music like dog my shit dope but my shit ain't catch on like such and such like you know what I'm saying with this podcast like my shit dope but it ain't it ain't you know what I'm saying everybody bigging up this other you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. shit like do you ever feel like that like damn like what do I gotta do to go over that hump to get the love that everybody else getting or you just be like I shit, feel it's like kinda in a way but my thing be like. I just don't understand how some shit can go, but mm. then the shit I'll be making yeah. don't go like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like, how did you get this many people to fuck with this? Yeah, like, for sure. I can't wrap my head around it. But yeah, yeah, you'll be surprised. Yeah, I guess it's just the way you deliver yourself and yeah. people catch on, they catch on. Yeah, then it is, uh, it'd it, it be a lot to do with, like, I guess those relationships, though. Like, yeah. who you know. Yeah, That's really the thing about it, bro. Know. Like, the most shit, the trashiest person is can get on just because of the people he knows. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's in position to be all right, hey man, listen to this, do this, whatever. Mm-hmm. So it just depends on the people you know, dog. Mm-hmm. It'd be a lot of dope motherfuckers that don't get no love and then you got trash ass little motherfucking Jaheem and shit over yeah, here. Yeah, just because they play <laughs> with everybody. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Now dog, wait, it's still early, but like I within these two days, dog, like what's the love been like for the uh for the tape? People been surprised like Yeah, it's been it's been it's been real good. It's been better than I could have Imagine, I remember the night it was coming out, me and my girl was chilling, and she was trying to turn me up and stuff, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm kind of nervous, like, yeah. but this project about to be out, it's like, it's a lot of vulnerable stuff on here, I don't know how people are gonna, you know, receive it, and so I was nervous, but I I had actually fell asleep before it came out, so yeah. I, I woke up the next morning, and everyone had been hitting my phone, and I'm like, alright, bet, everybody like it, like, we sure. good, we hell good. Yeah, hell yeah, what, what you want what you want to gain from this project, man, like, what you want? You want people to just see that you dope? You want to? You know yeah, I want people to see that you know I I really do this shit. I could really put together a project. Um, you know, I know it's a lot of artists mm-hmm. at my level trying to do what I do, but I feel like I really can separate myself from everybody mm-hmm. else with the type of shit that I put out. Now, have people been like surprised? Like, damn, dog, we didn't know we knew you rap, but yeah, yeah, it's been a lot of people that hit me up that like used to know me, or I mean, they've always known me, but they used to, I used to be closer with them back when I first started rapping, yeah. and as I kind of went through life i just 
got further apart from everyone, but it's when people hit me up like, man, you really have grown a lot. Like you, you're sure. really doing good. So yeah. Hell yeah. Now I always do that shit, dog. Top five songs from the from the from the tape. Your top mm -hmm. five, and I'm gonna give my top five from your tape. Bet. I like uh, Smoke and Drive, uh -huh. uh, Miami in the Rain, uh -huh. uh, Nothing Lasts Forever, uh -huh. Keep It, uh -huh. and Bad Guy. That's that's probably that's probably my top five right there. The only one that I I probably do a uh, Cold Killer with Packy just because that was like a huge moment for me finally doing a song with him. Yeah. Um, and then Bad Guy, and then. Nothing lasts forever. The outro, just because that's real personal. I think that's, I think that's the best song on that album. Yeah, yeah, I think I think so too. Yeah. And then uh, keep it. And then number five. Number five, probably uh, either smoke and drive or I can tell. Yeah. Those ones are are both are both right there for me. For sure, for sure. Now with the song Nothing Lasts Forever, dog. Mm. What's some shit in your life that you felt was gonna never end? With me, I said my first relationship. I thought that shit was gonna never end. And she played me and that shit ended. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I probably the I feel like uh it's been certain people that I've been close with that I feel like we I thought we was always gonna be close. Mm -hmm. Um we just grew apart. Or I've seen certain people be in certain positions that I felt like they was either gonna take it somewhere way crazier yeah. or at least be in that position for yeah. a while and I just watched them completely disappear yeah. or turn into a yeah. Different person, and that's why we like nothing lasts forever, dog. Like just, just taking that and and um going off that. That's why in life, dog, you gotta just enjoy every moment, mm -hmm. bro. Because don't nothing do nothing don't last forever. Mm -hmm. So like every day, you gotta just man enjoy the moment, enjoy the mm -hmm. day, and just you know saying cherish that shit. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to that uh the last few months. That's been like my main mindset. I've been trying to do like I be talking to my girl about stuff like a lot of the shit we going through right now don't really matter. Like we just need to enjoy what we got going on mm -hmm. and whatever. We're, is bad that's going on right now yeah. It's gonna end eventually Dog so. I be telling my wife bro Cause she like When she go wrong dog, She just be Dwelling that shit down Like Man. bro we can't control that shit You can't control it Ain't nobody get yeah, mad Exactly If I can't pay the bill We just ain't gonna pay That motherfucking bill Right like, right like, like, It's gonna get paid When it gets paid sure. And that's all dog, we can do Like being sure. mad and Stressing ain't gonna bring No money into your no, life Hell so. yeah Cause like I said My uh, my mom she passed mm -hmm. And then it was a uh, brain aneurysm That shit That shit come from my like, stress mm -hmm. So like dog I'm not about to let nothing Kill Man, me Man that's like, the thing People will kill themselves Stressing about some money Especially like, That's what blows no, me No money will fuck you Man. up bro <laughs> It's sad like, for real. No, because it, and it, then it's never enough money. We even when you got money, it's never enough. Dog. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, never. Yeah. Now stay on that shit. We got this thing called talk about the bars. Uh -huh. So I take a little, either you know, what I'm saying a bar from a song, and we just talk about it. Mm -hmm. So and excuse my absence. You said, God, when I die, will they miss me? Mm -hmm. We, me and him talk all the time, bro. Like we, we ain't lost a lot of people and shit, dog. That shit crossed my mind a lot. You about to have a little one? I got three kids. I got a lady and shit. So like I gotta make sure I take care of myself so I'm here for the long run. Mm -hmm. At least until it get grown. Mm -hmm. So that do that shit be on your mind like like death and like what you gotta do while you here and you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. It's it's definitely changed in the last couple months finding out that I got a baby on the way and stuff because now shit's bigger than just me obviously but yeah. I feel like before I was never really like afraid to die. Like mm -hmm. I could have died at any moment and I would have been I would have felt fulfilled with what I did with my life. Yeah. Um, obviously now I got a baby on the way that I want to raise and see grow and everything sure. but Hell yeah. No, yeah, for sure. Death is something I definitely think about a lot. Hell yeah. I remember being a little like, duh, I ain't never, like, that shit happened. I ain't never come back to this bitch. Like, that shit no, scary. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And then, like, it's like, where you go when you die, bro? Like, what's, that's oh, the crazy shit. thing to me. Hey, like, man, shit, we were talking about this shit on his show. He got a show, dog. He was, well, we was talking about, I forgot how we got on this bitch, dog. But I said, me and my wife, we just, I don't, I don't know, I might have been drinking too much the other day. But <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dog, I feel like everything is a rerun, bro. Like, I feel like what, the, what, how we living right now happened before. Uh -huh. We just placed in this time. Uh -huh. So once you leave this bitch, you can either rerun that bitch back uh -huh. <laughs> or you like, can go back to a different time or some shit. Yeah. Like, that's just how my crazy ass mom be thinking, dog. Like, <laughs> no, that, that'd be crazy for sure. I'd be sick if I died and came back in like the 1900s or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you, I'd be, I would too. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm off myself as <laughs> soon as I get there. Like, let's try and run it back again. Go somewhere else. No, no, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Man. Hell no. Hell yeah. Not on, um, on, uh, going, uh, damn, well, I'm, oh, going back. Uh -huh. You said, uh, am I really healing? Does it help to hit this weed again? Lately, I've been thinking I should quit so I could dream again. Uh -huh. Now, my brother, you know, he a weed head. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. he smoke weed all fucking day. Uh -huh. And a lot of people who do smoke weed, you know, saying that's their thing. I guess that's how I feel they heal from shit. Just mm -hmm. smoke weed, forget about it, do what they do. Like, do you feel like that shit is in the way? Like, you say you want to dream again. You feel like uh -huh. that's, that's taken away from, you know what I'm saying, your yeah, shit? Yeah, um, we definitely, I don't know. I, it, they, it affects everybody differently. I used to be able to just to just smoke all day 
mm-hmm. and it would make me just work smoother and and, and better um yeah. i had got put on probation for a few months so i couldn't smoke yeah. and then i tried to smoke again after that and it just wasn't the same it yeah. was like i was just after i hit the blunt i'm out i'm dead i'm good for nothing <laughs> yeah, for sure. but yeah i definitely uh for me i can't smoke too much or it definitely do get in my way yeah. like i literally i won't have dreams when i sleep no yeah. more like my creativity goes down yeah so i try to only keep it if i'm partying or if i'm working on music yeah, with me dog yeah, i can't I'm, I'm not a weed smoker i can't handle it I, mm-hmm. I, i'm kind of jealous of people who can't do it and who can't handle mm-hmm. that shit because mm-hmm. i just started dog that shit had me think about the wildest shit like i be thinking about what people thinking about me yeah no <laughs> I, I, that's why i didn't smoke before i came here because i like i'm not about to come in here high and be weird and like <laughs> say some crazy shit so Duh, I'll, I'll, about, I'll be the same way yeah i'm like damn last thursday my wife was gone a little long <laughs> Five minutes, she could have did something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't do it, yeah, bro. Yeah, no, I'll be the same way. Now, I think that's what happened when I was putting the project out, too, because I got real high and I started thinking, like, damn, bro, I'm really about to put this shit out. But yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, uh, on going back, you also said, uh, used to be broke, but I still had women. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. <laughs> like dog, back then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, tell me about that, dog, because, like, you know, shit, you, you could kind of, like, Stunt a little bit, like you know, what I'm saying kind of like you know, cap a little bit. Yeah, no. So tell me how it was back in the day. It was just, uh, <laughs> you know, it was smooth. I, I was, I was always, uh, you know, I was always a little ladies man. I, yeah, even yeah. in even in high school, <laughs> elementary school, all that stuff. I was always was chilling with the girls. I don't know. And then as I got older, yeah, I didn't need no money to chill with no girls. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> Talk your shit, girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, on Keep It, you say, uh, I need a girl I can trust. I got a heart full of pain. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I be, uh, I, I was peeping. Y'all was doing a lot of couple shit, a lot, a lot of cute shit, man. Mm-hmm. Going, you know what I'm saying, on the boat and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what made, like, like you know what I'm saying? Because when you get a girl, though, like, that got to be somebody you could trust for uh-huh. sure. So what made, like, your lady right now, like, the one for you and shit, dog? Man, it was just, um, we, like, really, like, the same person. Yeah. And, like, we had a lot of hot, uh, Heart to hearts, just deep talks, and we sure. really just had the same issues, yeah. had the same beliefs, and we just ended up clicking and working perfectly. She's an artist, I'm an artist. We both want something crazy out of life, so For it sure. just it just works. Okay, yeah, y'all gonna do a little big shine, uh, Janelle? Y- <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be trying to get her to. She be acting nervous in the studio now. Yeah, so she- yeah, duh, duh. Now uh, on the last forever, you say uh, why he call himself Measy? He want to rap now. Oh, that's funny. He moved out of town, and now you think he black. Now you think he black now. Uh-huh. So, dog, tell me about that, dog. Like, you know, what I'm saying, you know, it's being a white dude rapping yeah. and stuff. Like, you be like, damn, it's pressure. Cause I ain't gonna, the first thing people think about when a uh, white dude rap. Oh, he he's Eminem. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly yeah. dog. So, is that pressure on you? Like, oh, I gotta prove I can rap and shit, or like you? Don't yeah, give a fuck? It, it not so much anymore, but it, it definitely was at first. Mm. Um, and you know, just walking into a studio and being the only white dude in there, they'd be like, "Oh, you a videographer, bro? Like, mm-hmm. where's your camera?" At? <laughs> no, I came here to make music. But I think uh, now I'm I'm more comfortable in it, and so now it's it's less of a thing. I know I'm dope. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not really tripping how anyone else feels. So if if they see it, they see it, and I'm happy. But if they don't, yeah. someone else will. No, so. for sure, hell yeah, dog, yeah, because that's always been kind of lame as hell. Like, and then listen to your music, bro. Like yo, shit, like ain't no Eminem type shit. Like, yeah, you know what no, saying? yeah, <laughs> that's and that's what because when I first started rapping, when I was like you know 13 14 and i was writing raps it was some yeah. eminem shit though yeah. like i had to really like get away from that and get in a different bag but no because they put everybody in the same bag like yeah. all right it's eminem dog you know what i'm saying yeah now they be trying to put me in the uh jack harlow bag that's everyone's favorite thing to say when they see me hey jack harlow no, what's up that, that shit you hate that shit though like being i like, do because it's like i mean i do and i don't because I, I get I get what they're saying. Like, I mean, Jack Harlow's not like an insult. He's a yeah, he ain't fly no, ass yeah, white he ain't boy. No so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I get, I get what they're saying, but at the same time, it's like, um, I feel like I found Jack Harlow when he was like, when he was a nerdy, yeah. long, curly hair, wearing For baggy sure. jeans and yeah. n- New Balances. So I feel like um, people might think that. I'm trying to act a certain way because I see what's popping off, but really I've been like this before Jack Harlow was even popping yeah. off like that. For sure, hell yeah. Now last one on bad guy, you say I don't understand why you keep changing on me. First you love me, then you hate me. This shit dangerous for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be them toxic ass hoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can tell they, like, they'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll kill you. You ever been in a situation like that? Yeah, for sure. My my last relationship really uh like really destroyed me. It, it had put a hole on my music. It had me thinking completely differently about myself mm-hmm. all that and that's where a lot of the music on this tape came from was from back then yeah um but yeah it was definitely a situation that 
you don't even notice how much it's affecting you until you finally make it out of it and you're like damn yeah, i was man. a whole different person you're talking to two people in this mother that's been man. <laughs> has been abused and shit. <laughs> hey we all been abused a little bit no, like damn like you don't want to do nothing dog. man like, but that's when you, if you no that's when relationship ain't shit bro like <laughs> duh, homies can't call you to do nothing you're not bro. getting out the house i'm in the bed all day bro I'm, I'm sitting here watching movies and sleeping no for yeah. real because no i've been being in, in front of the relationship but as soon as you leave bro you fuck around you doing this like dog uh -huh. like dog no yeah. no motherfucker like but yeah those those situations you gotta get out that motherfucker quick dog yeah. you gotta run that motherfucker dog what's yeah. that movie get out man you for real <laughs> it'd be bad once someone's got a hold of your like emotional well-being and they can control man. how you feel with the snap of a finger it's dangerous hell yeah so man you some people here was getting choked and shit he was getting choked back in the day man though. i was getting my ass beat bro i was getting my ass beat i had to and at first i was just like okay this is you know it's, it's normal girls do this but yeah, yeah. shit after that that last man. shock in the face i'm okay this ain't normal i gotta yeah, go oh yeah i remember my ex i mean she fuck through an ashtray man god damn all man. right dog. we go hey i'm gonna fuck you up dog I, I did a lot of punching walls damn i was punching walls dog, see that's the thing <laughs> i ain't never hit hit her back i ain't hit a wall i didn't do yeah. nothing I, I would pack my stuff and just go yeah it, it'd be crazy though i got Last time I got sucker punched right from there. My jaw was all messed up. I couldn't oh, eat for a week, bro. I can't chew my food. I'm like, damn. Yeah, People might... asking why I'm chewing weird. I don't want to tell them I got hit by a like, girl yeah, and shit. I'm like, duh. <laughs> no, yeah, that's it. You a strong person, dog. Man. I would have to at least give her a good shake. Ain't Man. no one shake, dog. You know, I, I just good pack shake my down shit and shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely need to shake down, but be on the bed like, God, stop it. Man, the next one go shake her down. Hopefully, she gonna get it. She gonna no, get what is it. Hey, yo, dog, dog. Now, you know, what I'm saying, of course, you just drop this project. You gotta let this shit live. But you know, what I'm saying, being that you drop this shit, do you ever think about? All right, I wanna. See the next album, or what's the you know what's the next album gonna be like? Are you just like fuck? I'm gonna focus on this. I get to that when I get to it. Yeah, no, I definitely. I've already been kind of thinking about what I want the next project to be. Um, I kind of want to go for more like a, a turn up vibe. This one was yeah. kind of more like you know mature and like a whole project. This next one's gonna be just all club records and just real hard rap verses. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, now you know we always do a little you know shot style Tuesdays in this mm -hmm. motherfucker dog. Mm -hmm. You got you sent the beat over and shit mm -hmm. dog. So you know what I'm saying? Quick little you know little We're something something for the people and all shit. Right. Me in the building. Yo 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 Shot style Tuesday in this motherfucker man. Fast life in the building. Shout out Woe from Florida made this beat. It's crazy. Whoa. Oh, yeah, for sure. Bitch, you know my name, that's how I'm coming When we pull up with that Better rapper get to running All you hear is dun 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 That drummer get to drumming I have been running shit so long That I don't even feel like running I just fucked this bitch so long That I don't feel like coming Push a button in the whip And the engine get to rumbling Push a button on the stick And the glocky get to buzzing Hit me, hit you like it's nothing Hit his head, that's a concussion Bitch, I feel like mobile one I got that gas on me Bitch, you ain't the only one But shake it fast for me Girl, these boys is broke Get a cast for him I'm on the freeway in a fast form I do the dash, just the jag roaring I do this shit so much it's mad boring A double line inside a fago got my man snoring I came to get the money, all that other shit just keep it The mother guy's a joke, man, I swear this shit comedic I've been saying Yeah, you know, some low life building, man. Fast life, shout out woe again Hey man, you motherfuckers who come on the show, man, y'all better rap, man Man, don't be that rapper to come out here and don't rap, bro. Don't stumble, motherfucker. Man. Hey, man, he said shit. He don't want it. He ain't got to come and shit, nigga. Say. <laughs> man. Man. I wish I had those powers. <laughs> I need you, motherfucker. What's that shit there? Them honey packs in his face. Hey, I be... Those bitches be coming in handy sometimes. Hey, hey, he told me some shit, dog. That shit had me scared, though, dog. Mm. That shit had me... I be excited to walk in the gas station and buy those. I walk up loud as hell. Give me one of them honey... <laughs> Give me one of them honey packs. I start eating it before I walk out the gas station. Duh. I walk out with it hanging out my mouth. <laughs> hey, dog, I remember one dude came to the gas station early as hell, got one of them horny goat weed pills and shit, dog. He said, that's horny super goat weed? Like, what the hell? Let me get that little horny goat weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know if I can ask for no horny goat weed. I definitely stick with the honeys. No, the wild uh, shit, though, me and my nigga, uh, we was going to these chick, random chicks' house. I thought I was going to get some. I took the pill for no reason, though. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Just walk around bricked up. No, we had, we had took uh, one of the little gas station pills, dog. We got a Red Bull real quick. 
We walking, we walking. We ain't got no car. We walking over there ready, dog. Like, I'm going to take miles right now. <laughs> Man, I get there, dog. His home girl. We thinking that the the girl I was set up for was like this girl I know. Uh-huh. Man, it was this fat chick, dog. Like, Man, damn. that'd be the worst. But then I didn't want to waste the pill and shit, but. <laughs> yeah, shit, I paid for it. <laughs> but then she was like, she was on some scary shit. Like, I want to get to know you. Like, man, she's like. Man, I mean, it's 2022. Man, it was, got laid out. Like, no, like, yeah. Shut your ass out. I'm good. I want to get to know you, dog. Like, yeah. you ain't going to ever see me again after this and shit. Yeah. My man out there doing pound. You hear it? Like, like Girl, we grown. What is I'm in this bitch down here watching uh, fucking mash. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's this nigga? Hurry up, cuz. Yeah. Nigga <laughs> took that to pill with crazy, dog. Shout out to my dog, Weezy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Weezy got that Red Bull. We just had a little Hennessy in that pill, dog. Uh, that nigga was over here, nigga. That nigga a monster up there, dog. I mean, this bitch is mad, like. Duh, Man, sick as hell. <laughs> Scro- scrolling through Instagram, like, hell damn. Yeah. See, back then, that was my space. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was a minute ago, dog. Man. Damn, we had some bad times, dog. Damn. Black feet, dog. Damn, that shit crazy, dog. What'd you do back then when, like, because, like, nowadays, when you, you know, like, when you in a room with someone, you just act yeah. like you on your phone when you're yeah. on your phone? What'd duh, you do back then when the damn. phones wasn't, like, a thing like when that? the phone wasn't popping, dog, we were just playing the game. <laughs> damn. Playing the game, nigga. Playing oh, okay. the game, talking on the phone. On the landline phone, too. Uh, yeah, the that, landline. Dog. Hey, yeah. mom cussing you out because uh, you holding up the phone and shit, dog. <laughs> but, yeah, we just, dog, I was a hooper, so I used to, like, go hoop, like, all day, every day. After school, I'd go hoop. That's mm-hmm. it. Either hooping, basketball practice, talking on the phone, going skating, going to the mall, hitting the movies. That was our life, oh, dog. Okay. You'd be, you be in the bed really watching TV, dog. Uh, like, <laughs> no. like, my son don't even watch TV shows, dog. It's just all about the game, the phone. Yeah, I don't really watch TV like that either, unless it's like a like a hit show everyone's talking about. I'm like, let me go check this out. I really just be on the game or working on music or just... Damn, he made me feel old. Like, what was y'all doing back then, cuz? Man. No, <laughs> 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 you was a punishment. Like, you just in that bitch just sitting there like... Man, for real, like, what? <laughs> Bro, we was playing the game, though. I had every system, so you'd be on that PS1, PS2, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and just yeah. playing the game. That's bro. why I started out on. Well, I had a, a Nintendo 64, yeah. and then I got my PS1. Yeah, then yeah. You you ain't playing online, so you just playing yeah, computer and shit. Yeah, I remember when I first started playing online. I was on the PS2, I think, and yeah. it was on an MLB game. Yeah. And they used to have this chat room. <laughs> I was I, I used to meet up in this chat room with these people from New York and play this baseball game, and we yeah. used to just talk. They was bro. like my friends, but we ain't never met or even heard each other's voices. It was bro. crazy. I would tell my son like, dog, if I had social media in high school. Oh yeah, it would be crazy. Dog. Mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't graduate for sure. Cause it was, it was too easy. Like you had to really like do the work. Like you see yeah. a shit like damn. Put your your mad pound, your your mad line on that shit. Uh-huh. Like guy has something clever to come up with. Now nah, you just getting a DM uh-huh. like what up? Yeah, it'd be easy to slide you the do, DMs. Uh, uh, you just do about what, what, ten likes and then get a DM like what up, dog? <laughs> like let me like three pictures real like, quick. I know you see, see me like the motherfucking pictures and or shit. Or like once you like them and then you see her like them back, it's oh, yeah. over. Oh, you, you don't even got it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah. She you can wheel her in, dog. And yeah. I gotta finish it off. Yeah. See, it's a whole, it's, it's easy, dog. Yeah. Shout out to the people that sing out here, dog. <laughs> Keep doing y'all thing and shit, dog. <laughs> What's something you uh you hate about this music shit, bro? It's easy to say what you love about it, but what you hate about this shit. It's low key a lot of shit I hate about this. I, <laughs> I hate how you gotta be so like, man, this TikTok shit. I've yeah. been trying to learn it. You gotta be so heavy on social media nowadays to Facts. even. It's like not even about the music no more. Hell yeah. And then on top of that, everybody be so fake, bro. Like the people you gotta go meet, the people you talk to, build relationships with, they act one way in your face because they think it's gonna either benefit them or someone they know some way. Or, For sure. That shit just be bothering me. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. What's some what's some outside this music shit that you want to tap into? Or you just all about the music right now? No, I really want to. I really want to uh, try acting. Yeah. But I really want to try and figure out how to get in that bag. Hell for yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, you be uh, peeping the little Detroit movies and shit. Dog. Yeah, yeah. I've been thinking <laughs> about Tubi and yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm dog. like, put me on Tubi. I probably man, look I good up there. Bunch of people, I know y'all smoke people. I might as well go ahead and get a camera and shoot your own shit. That's what I've been thinking about. Low key, her dad got a crazy ass life story. I'm trying yeah. to get her dad to make like Bro. a Detroit Friday type movie. Man, like, hell. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. yeah. We, we, yeah, we, we, I've been trying to get in movies, dog. Everybody I have on the show from the movie scene, I'll be like, dog, I'm trying to be third number two and shit. Uh-huh. I just want to get shot in that bitch or shoot somebody one or two. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, dog. I mean, show, show your boys some love, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, uh, what, what long term girl goals, short term goals, dog? What's some shit that you want within this year or two or in the, you know, saying the long term? Um, shit, the next year or two. I want to buy a crib. Yeah. And have my, I'm sick of renting. I want to oh, buy a crib. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then uh, long term, I just want to build this music shit up and yeah. have generational wealth. Yeah, yeah, for That's sure. That's a long term goal. Hell yeah, man. Now, dog, this <laughs> before your time, cause making a band. I know you uh-huh. heard making a band, right? Uh-huh. So making a band was Diddy, you know what I'm saying? You picked yeah. five people, dog. So I want your making a band album. You and four other people. It could be anybody. It could be producers, rappers, singers, whoever. One album, mm. your band, dog. 
I feel like uh, I definitely need Drake on there. All right, bet. So you Drake? I definitely want a uh, Boy Wonder for producer. Bet. Hell yeah, good shit. Um, I want to have Kanye on there as an artist and a producer. All right. So what? That's three. That's four. That's that's so four. You, yay, Boy okay. Wonder. Oh yeah. Okay. So one more. Wayne. Wayne. Got Wayne. Got to be on oh, there. Oh Wayne. New Wayne. Oh Wayne, yeah. preferably. <laughs> but I'll take any Wayne, but pre pre preferably Oh Wayne. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now, dog, you say you say uh, that's your making the band. So what? What? Give me your uh, top three low key under low key rappers that people be like, dog. You like him? Because it's easy to be like, you know, M Pop, uh -huh. B, like uh, who's West Side that? Boogie. Oh, West Side Boogie, hard. Yeah, yeah, from County. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been yeah, I've been up on him. Yeah, uh -huh. his, his last album was hard. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to go see him when he comes. He come to Detroit in uh, September, I think. Yeah. Um. So him. And then, who else is kind of low key that I listen to? Um, it, I mean, I would have said Jack Harlow about a year ago, yeah, but now yeah, everybody on his head. Um, I mean, I don't even know if I got three low key ones. Mm -hmm. It'd be Westside Boogie, like the most low key person I think I listen to right no, now. No, for sure, no, he hard. And then besides that, just just the homies like yeah. Jay and Denaro now. Hell yeah. You fuck with baby Oh yeah, oh, Baby oh, Tron, yeah. but <laughs> even now though he he, he kind of blowing up. But yeah, Baby Tron, I definitely be banging banging sure. Baby Tron shit heavy. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through? So it's like some shit at 17, 18 that you don't believe now. Like for example, like as a younger in 17, 18, my uncles you be like, dog, you gonna eat pussy? I'm like, nigga, you crazy? <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's like, come on, girl, bring that shit out, dog. Like, what's some what's some shit that you was thinking back then? <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's gotta be that wild. No, I it gotta be. Okay. That's just an okay. example. That's just an okay. example. Like, <laughs> okay. Because I used to be like, dog, this nigga used to tell me, like, yeah, you gonna do that shit when you get older. Like, bro, you crazy. I ain't never, Man, nigga. It probably, it probably be uh, actually like having a baby on the way out. If you would have told me that at 17, that I'd be having a baby right now, yeah. I'd probably been like, dog, get the fuck on me somewhere. <laughs> Go somewhere. Hell yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure, dog. For sure. Now we getting towards the end, man. I, I give you a category. Give me your top three. Mm -hmm. Top three childhood celebrity crushes. Oh man, J Lo definitely yeah. number one. Okay. Um, besides who else did I used to love besides that? I remember uh, I I was used to be real young and my sister used to watch MTV. Yeah. And Jessica Simpson had the show on there, dog. <laughs> yeah. I used to be in love with her for a minute too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then number three, probably Beyonce. Beyonce. I always been in love with Beyonce. Yeah. You you uh, too young to know about uh, Boy Meets World? Uh, little, I was, I'm too young to really know about it, yeah, but I remember yeah. seeing like my older siblings hey, watching. Oh, girl, no, Topanga. Everybody leave her, though. Yeah, she might be there. Topanga, yeah. the way she can get it, boy. Still to the day. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your top three movies, dog. Uh, top three movies. Uh, shit, I don't watch that many movies for real. Top three movies. Oh, Holes. Okay. Holes. I used to love that shit. I still love that shit. That's like the one movie I can watch over and over again. Uh, sure. Holes, and then. Probably any of the Marvel movies would be mm -hmm. my next one and two. Probably uh, were Endgame. Cr were you crying when Iron, uh, Iron Man died? Bro, bro, I was sick, bro. Yeah, my wife and my st st her stepdad was crying ass. I'm like, God bro, damn. Bro, that's, bro. that's <laughs> honest to God, that's the one time. Like, I, I've, I've seen so many sad ass movies, bro. Duh. I don't never. I, I'm like, it's just a movie. It's not real. It's, yeah. There's no point to be sad. But when Iron Man Duh. died, bro. <laughs> I'm like, what? Bro, I'm right between, because, like, dog, they, my son and my wife, the one put me up on Marvel. I wasn't watching shit but uh -huh. Spider Man. So I'm in that mud watching the movie. I'm like, damn, she crying her ass off. I look <laughs> at him like, damn, he crying his ass off. Like, dog, they both crying, bro. Bro, like, that Marvel hard. shit get deep. And then they run, like, all the movies together. That shit really crazy. Yeah. I had someone just put me up on Marvel a couple years ago, too. That's what yeah. got me here. I'm addicted to it now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give me your uh, top three uh, top three moments in life. Uh, Graduated high school. Okay. And I probably when I got my driver's license. Mm. It took me a long time to get that motherfucker. Probably, uh, probably doing my first show. Yeah. Probably top three for right now. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right, give me your uh, your top three Detroit rappers. Baby Tron. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. And I probably got to say payroll for number three. Oh, yeah. you a good person, Either, huh? I mean, <laughs> I, I want to throw T in there because I really, yeah. T shit is hard, but... Yeah. He kind of more mainstream now than I guess yeah, the Detroit Yeah, he ain't, he, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't chilled out a little bit. Yeah, like yeah, you can tell he ain't. He ain't shit. He said he making so much money off that game and yeah, shit. Yeah, but I don't blame him, bro. If I was playing the game like that, getting paid like that, I'd be on the game twenty four seven. Hell yeah! Catch me on GTA. Hell yeah, for sure. <laughs> now give me a uh, give me a high moment or a jump moment, dog. Funny story when you was high drunk or both. Man, I remember uh, 
we was at there's this venue called the loft in lansing and we was there my man was opening up for uh kirk O'Bangs. yeah and so he wasn't the only opener though uh it was these people that had were going before him and they were just trash like super trash yeah the crowd was not feeling their shit it was like four dudes on there on stage yelling jumping around i was drunk as hell yeah. off, i think it was when i first started drinking uh tequila and yeah. I, I wasn't even 21 yet i think i was 19 what kind what you drinking though some cheap shit something no it was a uh, well i guess 1800 is kind of cheap huh i mean but that was the go-to at that time yeah, that at that time, yeah. so we was drinking 1800 i was in there i remember they was on stage and then I was on stage with them trying to perform <laughs> their shit with them they were so mad they pushed me off the stage <laughs> security came and grabbed me by each arm carried me down the steps put, put me outside the venue and then there was this homeless dude I still remember his name to his day his name was Daryl <laughs> I was chilling with him until my friends got out the show <laughs> me and Daryl was just sitting there kicking it about life <laughs> <laughs> This fool drugs out the 18 got yeah. thrown out chilling with Daryl yeah. yeah. shout, yeah. shout out Daryl yeah. shout out Daryl shout out Daryl the last dude dog. <laughs> yeah, that shit funny as hell dog. I never got put out no uh, club dog, for being too drunk yeah that was the only time I, I ever have but yeah I put myself out <laughs> yeah I, I definitely like, put myself out a few yeah, times like, too. Dog, I gotta go fuck, you need to get the fuck out here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah. I, when I did that shit though I, though, I had, though, that's when I threw up on this girl dog, a little bit just a little oh, bit oh man you well, said just a little bit though. Yeah, it, got, it, got like, it got like on her shoes a little bit bro and I remember hearing her cuss me out like I'm about to get my beat your ass so I got the fuck out dog. Man. I was in no shape to be fighting nobody nigga. I was too man. drunk I get being mad about someone throwing up on your shoe, but you gonna have someone beat up a drunk guy because he's drunk, man. That's <laughs> I mean, bitch, dog, up. downtown, bro. Man. And dog, next thing I know, I'm running out that bitch, dog. I get to the car, realize, dog, my my keys in the in the, in the car is my boy car. Man, I call my mama like, dog, please come get me. <laughs> dog, I walked about, bro, about two miles, dog. I got about six hundred dollars in my pocket. I mean, this bitch wild, oh, dog. I was man. fucked up. Yeah, but yeah, she cussed my ass out. I couldn't see. Man, them shoes was probably cheap too. She mad yeah. about them. Bro, that's when you know you drunk because the only thing you see is shoes and heels, bro. Yeah. You can't pick your head up, dog. <laughs> I'm like, man, let me, let me exit this bitch, yeah. dog. <laughs> that's a good idea. Once you start only seeing shoes, it's time to bro. go. Bro, and then you <laughs> talk to yourself like, get your shit together. Yeah, like, bro, you, you got this, bro. This <laughs> shit. The door right there, bro. Just go. <laughs> no, I answered that bitch. And then, damn, that girl's right there like, fuck. Uh -huh. Cause that, I'm talking about that bitch right here. Nigga, throw it right here. Nigga, my neck. Uh-huh. You can feel it just Duh. boiling. She and that bitch going, ham. Are you dumb motherfucker? I'm like, bro, fuck. I don't right. know what I would have done. Man, I couldn't call my homies. I'm come out here help, nigga. So I was like, man, I'm going to run. <laughs> yeah, that's the, only, that's the only thing you can do. <laughs> hell yeah. Shoot. I'll probably run the stupid as hell, too. I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> hell no, dog. dog. So you say uh, your mom, she's still supporting the movement, though. Mm -hmm. She still, she happy about what you got going yeah, on. Yeah, for sure. She she love when I when I do shows. She always come if, if she can, and yeah. she be at the house playing my music. Yeah. She be up. She called me at like two in the morning a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. She was drinking out on the deck by herself. So yeah. I'm just sitting here drinking, listening to your music. Yeah. I'm like, my, it's two in the morning. Go to yeah. bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anybody from your past, like, dog, is still kind of questioning why you doing this shit. Uh. Not anybody that I know of, but I'm sure it is, though. Yeah. I'm sure it's some people back f from where I'm from just wondering why the fuck I'm trying to do this. Or for sure. Hell yeah, Waiting man. for me to stop trying to do it. Some shit like that. Yeah, man. Well, shit, man. I appreciate you coming to this motherfucker, dog. Man, I appreciate you having me, bro. Oh, yeah. You got any, uh, anybody, any um, social apps you want people to come and, you know, saying reach you, uh, reach you at? Man, hit, hit my Instagram, FL Measy. Really, all my socials is FL Measy, but go to my Instagram. That's where you're going to see everything you need to see for real. Damn, I forgot to tell you. I should yeah, should have told you bring a hat and shit, man, because I caught one. Oh, I was, I was looking for one when we came. I was going to bring one. I couldn't find one. I think they're all the studio but we can get you one for right, sure. I, I get what you, I get yeah. what you do. Oh, we do got one. All, all right. right. Oh, we do got one. Oh shit, we, all right, we got had that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. What well, shit you want to leave people with some shit, dog? With, with uh, you know, those positive words, whatever, whatever. Positive words, whatever you want to do, do that shit and don't let nobody tell you not to. If it for makes sure. you happy, do it. Hell yeah. And some other positive words, go get that album. <laughs> for sure. It's Hell available yeah, everywhere. Hell yeah. It might got some shit on there for you. We got some some sad shit. It got some turned up shit if you're trying to go to the club if your girl just broke up with you if you're questioning life it's got something on there for you for sure so. hell yeah dog hell yeah shit. I'm gonna leave people out with hey man don't be drinking and trying to run this shit dog don't yeah, up on yeah. shoes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, keep that head up hell yeah <laughs> for sure hey, if you can't don't even go to that motherfucker dog <laughs> shout out to everybody episode 129 got the homie Measy and shit man yeah, appreciate it I'll let y'all boys